Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. We have two new custom courtiers. We have Gilwood, Gilwood Silverax. He is an Ironborn who has proven himself well in some breathings and has decided to come to our court in search of some more glory. In search, to, he wants to serve as a true Ironborn to, well, basically the strongest Ironborn house around. And we also have James Justice, who was a um, part, well, his family were part of a noble house in the River of Lands that was wiped out by the whores a long time ago, well, a few generations back. He has come to our court as he has heard of our intentions to take Stone Tree, and he wishes to, uh, well, join with us, and he is a proven warrior, so he is with us. Cool. Let's have a look at what we're going to do next. We have righteously imprisoned things. We're not going to do that. I always look at that one. I, I actually seem to realize that I always look at that one. Now, um, some people have been asking for another episode where we go through all the courtiers and do like a marriage episode. Uh, we might do that in a little bit. We'll do it in a couple of generations. Uh, Lord Cadwell Serpentail and Lady Arwen Merlin have got an... Uh, Merlin? I don't know why that... Yeah, that is Merlin. I, I had in my head that that was wrong, because last time I was saying it was like Merrill or something. But yeah, so I, I, that is correct. Uh, Arwen Merlin have gotten married, and it's customary for a dowry to be paid to the groom's house. Uh, is everyone's concern, so he will be asked for a dowry, or we respect people's wealth? Um, I think it's everyone's concern. We'll ask. My lord, Master Strick has sent you the customary amount of gold and silver for the bride's dowry, and now the ceremony can take place. Ten gold. Cool. Um, host a wedding feast. There we go, we'll lose 40 gold for that. Um, I've given orders for grand ceremony and feast to be hosted in Harlaw Hill in honour of Lord Cadwell Serpentine and Lady Arwen Merlin's wedding. Let the preparations begin. All my vassals will be there. Yeah, yes they will. That'll be fun. Maybe. Maybe it won't be fun. Uh, Rhonda of Crossbite Keep died a natural death. She is married to um, Baron Killick. Best part about holding a wedding is organizing the whole event. Um, I think we'll spend the middle amount. Yeah, we have nothing that pushes us either way. We're not greedy. We're not, you know, charitable or anything like that. So we'll just go for middle. Most of the preparations for the wedding have been made, and I only have to send out the invitations. There we are. Dear Lord Cadwell, I thank you for the invitation, but I'll not be attending the wedding feast. In fact, I refuse to set my foot in the same castle as you. Respectfully, Lord Dennis. Dennis of Lordsport. Hmm. I wonder why he uh, refuses. Why does he not like us? Uh, that's our opinion of him. His opinion of us. He doesn't like us because we're zealous. Uh, we have short reign and we have a female heir. Oh, well, I don't like you either. And in fact, Harlan Kenning also said no. And he actually quite likes us, so maybe he has another reason for not coming. Hmm, interesting. Maybe he doesn't like my wife. Everybody was talking about the musicians, and I'd finally had some time off for my preparations for the feast, so I could see with my own ears and hear with my own uh, uh, so I could see with my own eyes and hear with my own ears what people were talking about. The musicians were good, and they were looking for a patron. Sure. If we like them, then we'll go for it. I mean, we're fussy, but, you know, that already said that we like them. The travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that Furzion has escaped the dungeons of Alria Vassar and is built a lair in Ulvis Mel. Oh dear. Oh dear. And she is uh, wounded. That is not good. Definitely not good. There's a dragon on the loose. Luther of Smithyton Peasants Revolt has cleared the Peasants Revolt for Smithyton on King Emin of the Reach. Yeah, Reach has some Peasants Revolt. Not that big a deal. Wedding day is upon us and soon be wed to Lady Arwen in sight of all Lords of Pike. It will be a grand, grand ceremony, although we are most of our Lords didn't come. Yeah, in fact, our two actual Lords didn't come. Uh, the guests have finally arrived. All is ready. The servants have worked day and night to prepare and decorate the dance hall. Lady Arwen's gown is splendid and castles never look lovelier. Welcome to the wedding. Uh, Bravosi Westerosi war for the city of Bryson Point has ended in white peace. Okay. Here I stand before the uh, before the ground god take up a holy vow of marriage with Arwen Merlin, the great lords and ladies of Pike. Look on as I drape the arms of House Serpentil around my bride to finally seal our marriage. And now for the feast. Yes. Uh, do we have the King of Westeros marked? Uh, out of curiosity. Lothar is not marked, so we should have that. Oh, we could actually join his side if we wanted to. That's not what I wanted to. We could join his side. Interesting. 
Uh, but we, we're not going to because he's about to lose the war. There we go. King Lothar of Westeros accepted King Lancelin of the Rock's peace offer. So what was the war even over? I've completely forgotten. Um, oh, over Great Pike. So Great Pike is now underneath uh, our liege. And Lord of Pebbleton, Lord High Lord of Great Pike. Yes. So Westeros' capital is now Dragonstone once more. Uh, he's still in some wars, I think, isn't he? No, he's actually not in any wars. He is still leading troops, though. Um, yeah, they don't have that many men left. They like United Westeros is pretty weak. Uh, we can righteously imprison Master Tristan. That's a new one. He also wants to replace Vori. Okay, we're not going to do that. Uh, we need we have a new special thing. We have a need a new bodyguard. Our new bodyguard shall be. Um, that's 11, 11.5, 11 20, 1.5, 6, 12. Okay, Gilwood, you win. Um, did somebody die for that to happen? Did I miss somebody dying? Oh, was Rondo one of our bodyguards? I guess Rondo must have been one of our bodyguards. Interesting. Cool. Uh, the wars between the great powers of the realms have subsided from now until next time. When if he swung down, not only the bedding remains. Cadwell and Arwen are stripped of all garments by the revolution. Make many a body joke along the way. Then finally bundled into the bedchamber where they are finally left alone. A fine tradition. Is our wife pregnant? I suspect not. She is not. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, people are just ransoming. The war's ended, so all those ransoms finish. Um, all af the morning after the wedding feast has come, all the lords and ladies are finally making their way home. All the groups a fine celebration. Many predict the newlyweds will be most content. I had fun, and so did everyone else. Yes. Good, we get some vassal opinion and some prestige and all that good stuff. All the way, 14. Yes, and I think we're waiting for our brother to go up in age. Yeah. Uh, when he... When it hits August 5th, we're going to change his educator. Uh, Cadwell Serpentine, I invite you to pay the iron price by joining me on a reaving across the sea in the disputed lands. Uh, I promise we'll gain many salt wives and much plunder, as in the ways of old. Yours, Gilwood Silveraxe. So he's just come to court, he's invited us to a reaving, I think we'll go, probably. Uh, we're not that good. Actually, our dual skill is pretty high, so we might be alright. We're a skilled fighter already. Of course I'll join him. Yeah, that seems about right. We'll see how that goes. See if we get anything good. Uh, July, we're waiting for August, and we'll change the educator to our educator. Inquisitive, curious, and friendly. I'm always the first to greet strangers. Hi, what's your name? Oh, we got Gregarious. Fantastic. We are just getting the stats all around. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that dragons live once more, and that Ray Ivlar now rides gold scale into battle. Okay, gold scale is a proud dragon. Interesting. And uh, she is a dragon rider. She is married to this guy, Master Belchio who does not have a dragon, so she's kind of like his power. Cool. Interesting. Very interesting. My lord, his grace, King Lothar has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now his heir, courtier, Thurgood Macy will take the throne and will rule the Seven Kingdoms henceforth. So he has died uh, from too much drinking. Okay, probably wasn't very happy about losing the war. And Thurgood Macy. This is this guy. is in charge. His heir is Justin Macy. Um, yeah, I guess I see in a few generations it might even pass to our bastard Macy, who we have in our court, the uh, Martin Macy. Maybe. Probably won't. Wait, he is a bastard, right? Yeah, he's a, he's an un he's a unlegitimized bastard, but there's still a chance. I think. Maybe it will just, maybe it goes to Grand Council before it gets to then. Luthor uh, accepted King Emin of the Reach's peace offer. So... Luthor was just, oh, I guess it was just a peasant's revolt. Okay. At age 55, Lord Edwell Stonebridge died a natural death. Uh, Celtigar. Okay. He was underneath a gardener who was underneath a gardener. A son was born to Holland Lover and Falia named Cregan. Cregan Glover. Cool. Cool. Uh, Gilwood Silveraxe fearlessly decided to attack a merchant flotilla and the enemy crews were no match for the armor and we sank their poorly manned escort, seized their cargo and slew or took many cap captive many men. This is why we follow the old way. Oh good, lots of good stuff. The pillaging and looting undertaken in your name has earned your reputation as a fearsome ironborn raider. All along the coast of Westeros, mothers talking to their children for night warn that unless they behave, the terrible Cadwell, scourge of the seas, will come ashore with his undead warriors and eat them. We are now a reaver. Fantastic. Harlan Kenning has proved himself worthy to be called Ironborn and has captured himself a salt wife. Good man. 
Good man. So he has a uh, Glenios is his salt wife. Okay. Good military ruler is no longer affecting us. Uh, very. We're now very good military ruler. I see. Uh, King Thurgood of Westeros has declared the Westeros Sea Trident de Jure War over the Bay of Crabs on King Lewis of the Trident. Hmm. Brave move. Actually, he might win it. Yeah, where is... Oh, so the Trident's just there. So actually, that would be quite good if he can get it for himself. Bay of Crabs there? I would assume. Hmm, yeah. Bay of Crabs. Cool. Raven Party has been roaming the coast. My local patrol headed by Dario of Little Tyrosh attacked. We, of course, easily butcher these people, but the glory surely belongs to Harlan Kenning, who bested Dario in single combat, swinging the battle in our favour. He now expects to be rewarded. Good for him. By Gilwood, he expects to be rewarded, not by us, of course. My lord, thank you for having me in your household these past years, but I must serve a higher purpose now. King Lancelin has accepted me to his court, and I shall leave for Castle Rock immediately. Oh, well, well, it was nice having you while you were here. Lord Jasper of the Sisters has usurped the High Lordship of the Sisters from Lady Shara the Cruel. Cool. King Lancelin of the Rock has declared King Lancelin's blood feud against Lord Rorik the Bold on Rorik the Bold. So Rorik, uh, Farwind. Uh, I think we're going to say neutral. Yeah. We're, we're not going to join this war. Well, that actually puts us proper neutral. Yeah, cool. We can maybe do some cool stuff. Uh, oh, Master Urs of the Tower of the Glimmering is trying to buy someone's loyalty. Cool. We can, of course, go raiding now. Let's uh, get our vassal levies up. We're not going to raise our personal levies for this. We'll raise our vassal troops. Um, guess we'll get the boats together and then we'll go around the place picking up the armies. So we'll flag them all for looting. Flag them for looting. Flag them for looting. We'll get our boats, and we should have enough boats for the army size. Merge. Get on the boats. Go to the next island. Merge. Get on the boats. Go to the next island. We'll just keep doing that. Merge. We'll check who we've got. So we've got Morgan, Hagen, and Mayford. Is Mayford the best? Do we only have that? I guess we only have that many who are available. The rest are probably reaving. Uh, okay, who is at war? I know the Trident's at war with Westeros, which means that Westeros is at war. Hmm, we want to see if we can get some money off of them. they got some islands. Is the Reach at war? Reach is not at war. Okay. Dorne is not at war. Stormlands is not at war. So it's just Westeros. Maybe we want to try heading up here to Dragonstone. See if we can siege that a little bit. Yeah, let's head up there. We maybe get a lot of money out of Dragonstone. Uh, the Reaving Party has been roving the coast, but local patrol has spotted us and is attacking. Being Ironborn, one of us will, of course, meet this challenge, but the leader of their band stands before me for one thought to kill me. So we would lose the trait Reaver if we were to do this, if we were to run away. So I think we would have to do it. We are, of course, brave. Let's see who we're fighting. We're fighting Colio of the Disputed Forest. He is approximately half as good at fighting as we are. Okay. Oh, I like how we're zealous. It gives us new options. Uh, your weapon feels heavy in your young hands. Your armor cumbersome. Yet you stand ready to face Colio in combat, slowly circling him as you search for your opportunity to strike. Now, I know this is going to break the uh, immersion of the battle, but... Uh, you should be being educated by... Uh, Ronard. There we go. Cool. Um... So, Drowned God will guide me. My faith in the Drowned God gives me strength, or my will is strong, the Ground God protects me. Um, well, I think we're going to say the Drowned God will guide me. As you and Colio engage, you slip up and leave an opening in your defense. Colio tries to strike you, uh, try, strikes to try and take advantage. You try and hold back, Colio. But his onslaught is unstoppable. You only slip once, but once is all he needs. No way. This, he was so good. He, he was the perfect heir. He, he was, he was the perfect Ironborn heir. Ah, <sighs> he dies. Ugh. Master Millen is no longer... Right, all of these get changed. Okay. Lord Re Reaver Cadwell has been grasped by an honourable death at age 14. He was slain by Colio of Disputed Forest in personal combat. Long live Lady Melora. M Lady Melora is an indolent, haughty... Uh, so, she is proud and vain, convinced of her own superiority. She is adverse to any kind of exertion, be it mental or physical. She is humble. Okay, and a trained fighter. 
She is being trained in intrigue by, presumably, we should be being educated by Vori. Because that would be who I would assume we were being educated by. Um, Vori, 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 Vori. There we are. Yes. That's better. She'll probably also be your regent. We'll wait just one second for everything to go in. You have a new heir. If you die now, you will play as Arwen Serpentail, who is married to Hork and Drum. That's worrying. Uh, that's because they have no, like, proper heirs. My liege, blessed upon you and your house, I've been appointed as your regent. Uh, why? He's a half-brother, right? Yeah, he's disinherited. I can't give him inheritance? No. Nope. Your brother, Lord Reaver Catwell Serpentil, has died. Now it falls upon you to decide whether to make his funeral big and special event or to keep it small and private. Well, my brother deserves to be honoured with a funeral or a small and private funeral will suffice. Um, yeah, let's give him a funeral. Who will you invite? Uh, do we have any, like, hints about that? That wasn't what I wanted to, but this one, any hints? Um, well, humble, so probably just the Serpentail family. There we go. Ooh, okay. Blood feud has ended, because none of those exist or something. That's weird. Uh, Lance oh, Lancelin died, so the blood feud ends, which means that Joffrey the Third of the Rock is now in charge. He is zealous. Interesting how that will work out for us. Will died a natural death. He was our court. Oh, he's the father of unknown. But okay, it just created him. Cool. And he was just created to be the father of justice, right? Uh, the invitation has been sent to the lords and ladies of the realm to come to the funeral. It's time to prepare the feast and the funeral itself. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Lord Dennis of Lordsport decided to release people from prison. Best part about preparing a feast is deciding what food stuff I must serve. I must purchase venison, boar, duck, spices, wine, ale, honey for the desserts, cheese for, and perhaps even a swan or a peacock. A peacock. Um, indolent? Mm, maybe. I'm trying to think indolent might give us a little bit of, um, uh, we're a little bit gluttonous. But, uh, haughty, proud, arbitrary, hmm, humble. Maybe we'll just spend enough for the f satisfy everyone's hunger. Just kind of the middle road. Wars between the great powers of the realm have subsided for now. We are now underneath our liege once more. Oh, auto save. Don't crash. Don't crash. Oh, we should check our council. Our council needs to be reassigned. Okay, so Castellan, you're fine. Just a car. Now, we are not zealous, so we're not going to change everyone around again. So, just a car. This is based off of diplomacy. Jimmy would seem like the obvious choice. Uh, yes. Our Master of Arms is going to be Ronard. Our Treasurer uh, should be our unknown guy. Yeah, that could work. Maester is our only Maester option, and Spy Master is Vori. I don't care what the options are, our Spy Master is Vori, because he has always been our Spy Master. Is he dead? No. He's still around. Still a guardian. Is she incapable? No. Uh, Spymaster. V O. I guess she's ineligible to be our Master of Whisperers right now. For some reason. Weird. Um, also, this isn't in order at all. This is weird. I'm just going to move it forward today. Drowned God Uprising declared against uh, Joffrey the Third. By master, is this gonna be Gwyneth? Okay, Gwyneth, who is married, who was previously married to Vladulf. Lisa's council is discontent, and our council is discontent. Just discontent across the board. Unrighteously imprisoned people. Not gonna do that. Cool. Right, let things continue. Maybe Vori is taking a break from being spy master to train us. Uh, Master Tristan is no longer a priest. Master Tristan had made me a promise that I would bury him properly and I keep my promises. I walked beside his coffin to Master Tristan's last rest and the wailing of the mourners was almost more than I could bear. He died too young. Valgor Magulis? One less mouse to feed or I should help his widow. I suppose, given that we got one that possibly leads into charitable, we should help his widow. Um... Open council position of Drowned Man. We do not have a thing for that. Uh, the Travelling Dancers dan 
first danced for us, and while dancing uh, to a fast and loud tune which made me want to dance, ev invited everyone to join them. I danced until I panted and my face was red, and then I had to sit down and rest for a while. Watching the dancers and the courtiers have more fun in the long time. I mean, more fun than in a long time. I like to hire you for my feast, or great fun, but my guests are too old for this. Uh, I'll hire you. Yeah. All the guests arrived at Harlow Hill. Cool. We'll see how it goes. A minor merchant from Harlow Hill is present at the feast and has taken the opportunity to bring a petition before you. He says that Harlan owes him a debt that has gone unpaid, and whilst Harlan himself claims that the debt is no longer valid, and urges you to declare the debt cancelled. Um... So Harlan has a debt. Okay, he's married to Helia Wilson. When you say the debt stands and he must be paid, which means that he would lose 25 gold or we would lose 25 gold. Or I agree with Harlan, the debt is not owed. Um, yeah, well, we'll pay the debt, I suppose. I suppose. Or he'll make him pay the debt. The funeral. It's been a day since Lord Reaver Cadwell passed away and... Uh, well... I completely missed the line there. Lord passed away. The strongest reavers and kin of the dead have gathered in the keep, where a drowned man is brought in to check the deceased. Then the assembled party lift up the body and carry it from the keep to a waiting ship and it sailed out to the open sea where the anchor is cast. The drowned man gathers up seawater and sprinkles it upon the dead, speaking the ancient words. With the rites completed, each member of the conclave come together to recount memories of the deceased, the greatest reavings, major boarding actions, and their many treasures paid for with the iron price. As the sun falls, the drowned man ties off the body and is cast overboard with the words, What is dead may never die, but rises again, harder and stronger. And so it is done. Lord, Cad Lord Reaver Cadwell Serpentine was slain by Colio of the Disputed Forest in personal combat on the 12th of December, a 8053 at age 14. He was a man who was known to be most courageous. He was a well-respected swordsman, being one of the most capable in history. Holding a funeral will be removed. Cool, and so it is done. We have had our funeral. Christopher accepted peace offer, so that was a peasant's revolt is over. Cool. Uh Omen Council position is our septum or drowned man. Cool. When do we come of age? We come of age on the 23rd of November. Well, I think that this would probably be a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. Next time, we'll probably get Lady Malora married. Hopefully, we'll get an heir and the whole thing won't end. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.